But this is the state of the bedroom. It is chaos at the moment. I'm gonna fill the next one up with all of her bows. I literally thought she had none, but turns out she's actually got a lot. I hope these fit. Okay, they do. Oh. Okay, they don't fit long ways. They only fit horizontally. I'm in a little bit of a pickle. I thought these rattan baskets would fit in her drawers. And unfortunately, they only fit horizontal. And I have to push them right to the back. And then I'm left with very limited space. And this is not easy access. I'm not sure if I'll end up leaving them or buying some new smaller ones. In the meantime, I've reshuffled these drawers. This drawer has all of her bassinet sheets, her fitted sheets, has some blankets, towels, that kind of stuff. This drawer here now has her clothes ranging from five zeros to three zeros. It also has her bows and ribbons and hats. The top drawer is more empty at the moment because a lot of this stuff is in her hospital bag. I do have nappies and wipes because I will be changing her on here. These are just bath products and then I also have all of my nipple covers, both reusable and disposable. I apologize for the background noise. It is this portable aircon. It is too hot not to have it on. I printed these picture frames out at Kmart and I've put them in these frames. The frames are only like $2. I've got a couple of them and I'm gonna set them up here Oh good, Whew, they just fit. There's so much to do and it's freaking hot in here but I have to keep turning the aircon off so I can talk to you guys. Her name sign is up. This is semi done. It is a new day, a new dress from Ali and we're coming back stronger than ever. Yesterday I was just way too exhausted, I needed a break. But I'm back fresh today and I'm going to do a little nursery tour of where I purchased everything. Starting off with these daisy wall decals, they are a tan. I got them from Stitch and Straw, but you can pick them up from Amazon or eBay. Unfortunately, I don't know where I got this bassinet from because it was a Facebook Marketplace purchase. But I can tell you that the gorgeous Daisy Pillow is from Adair's Kids. These beautiful bassinet sheets are from Lillian Co. Milo and Co. Lillian Co. And this beautiful little bear is called Hannah. It is actually a bunny, I shouldn't say bear. And it's from Cuddle and Kind. What I love about this is for every purchase of these, it donates 10 meals. Moving on, I bought this off Etsy. I think it was about $60. I really wanted the handles on the side rather than this way because when I change her, I'll be standing here to change. This beautiful playmat is gorgeous. What I love about it is that it is double-sided. This was from Adair's Kids. I just wanted something to finalize her room and I also wanted something that she could play on actively while we're in the room. This beautiful rug is gorgeous. It is from Kmart. I think this size rug is $89. Also from Kmart, because I am a Kmart girl, is this wall hook for muslin wraps. I am a sucker for dried flowers. I have dried flowers everywhere. I think this name sign was from Petite & Co. What I love is that you can pick the color you want, you can pick the font that you want, and you can pick the type of flower arrangement you want. These two here are just Kmart prints. This is also from Kmart and I can't remember I got these, but the shelves are from Kmart as well. I finalized the drawers and I'm super happy with how they turned out. I also love my DIY job. I'll see if I can find the original picture to compare what this looks like now versus what it looks like when I bought it. I feel so much more relieved now that her room is done. I'm 37 weeks on Saturday and this was really just stressing me out. Oh, I also need to do my caddy. So I moved the other bassinet. I showed you the Moses basket. That is downstairs next to the couch. So I don't have to constantly walk up. This is where I've decided to put the bassinet. And the reason being is that Max can then watch her when he's playing games. And I can sit here and then just like lean over and grab her. I think having it here will be so much better. Because then we don't have to like walk up and down the stairs all the time. Yes, yes. Morning. Grab your little teasers. And then we've got the caddy. I think that'll be fine. This can be like my little my little area. Packing this caddy is the last thing that I need to do. I so wish I could remember where this is from. I'm gonna take it downstairs to go with the baby Moses basket. I don't wanna to have to walk up here constantly to change her, especially during the recovery period. I totally forgot how small newborn nappy sizes are because I'm so used to Ollie's nappy sizes now. There's definitely a few more things I need. For example, the portable changing mats. I've only got this one and obviously this is too big to take downstairs, but just one that like folds out that I can take anywhere. Something that I found really cool is these little towels. They're from Sheen and they come in packets. I think they're about $2. So they're little mini towels and when you put them in water, they expand out into a hand towel. And I think if I'm running out of wipes or I need something a little more heavy duty than a wipe, these little hand towels are gonna be a lifesaver. 
I'm thinking I'm also going to put some stuff that I will need in there, including disposable nipple pads. For example, I might put a bunch of these in so that I don't have to walk upstairs if I need them. And another thing that I'll be packing in here is disposable undies. During the postpartum period, I prefer disposable undies over normal undies and then a pad. I've just grabbed out some disposable diapers. These are what I'm talking about. I much prefer wearing these over wearing normal undies and a pad. Just during the postpartum period, not for normal periods. This is the caddy packed. The last thing that I will need is baby wipes and disposable nappy bags. I know a lot of people don't use them, but I prefer to wrap each dirty nappy in a disposable bag and then put it in the bin. It just contains the nappy and I think it's a lot more hygienic. I also just packed in some pseudo cream. Other than that, the caddy is packed and it will go downstairs with the bassinet. I'm completely aware that this bassinet may not last that long. Ollie was only in his bassinet for 12 weeks. I'm hoping that I can keep her in her bassinet for maybe four or five months. If not, we will have to get a cot and I'm aware that the cot will make this space a lot smaller. So I'm hoping that she will stay in the bassinet for as long as possible, but I'm really happy with how this space turned out. Like I said, it is just a nook in our bedroom. So I had to be really smart with the space. That's why I created her wardrobe and storage with an additional purpose with an nappy changing basket. I also love that I was able to incorporate really small and cute decor pieces to finalize the room. I'm super happy with it, how it turned out. And I love that the rattan and pink also happens to match the rest of our bedroom. Poor Max, the whole bedroom is literally pink, white, and rattan. While I've been filming, Max has been downstairs setting up our double pram from Edwards & Co. And he's gonna come show me. Oh. This is the new pram that Max just set up. I'm seriously loving this, like, it looks like snake skin. And then this will be autumn seat. And I can actually say, Autumn because this video is posted after oh. Oh, she's no, what? No, exactly. <laughs> yeah, okay, sure. 